is up everyone? Isaac Perez here, also known as Isaac V God on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I'm here to bring you a tutorial on the lasso. So what a lasso is, is when you blow out an O, you blow another O through that O, and the second O that was blown through wraps around the first one. And then after it wraps around, it makes this weird lasso looking effect, and it's kind of hard to explain, so I'll just show you right now. But before we start this up, I just want to give a big shout out to Poppin' Corks, also known as Chris Corks. He was the one that taught me how to do the lasso a while back, and ever since he's taught me how to do the technique that I'm gonna be showing you today, I've been using that ever since. And the setup I'm using right now is the V God Elite Series Mech Mod with Cubana, like always. To do a lasso, you'll need to know two things. One, how to push an O, and two, how to do an O while popping your jaw. So I'm not really going to explain how to push an O because we already have tutorials on that, but I will go into depth on how to blow out an O using your jaw. So the best way to hit your mod when you're doing a jaw O is to not inhale the bait and just take a mouth hit. And the reason mouth hits are so important is because when you blow out an O with a mouth hit, the bait tends to be a lot thicker, obviously, and it also tends to linger a little bit longer and it's a little more stable. So the difference with the jaw O and a normal O is when you're doing the jaw O, instead of coughing it out, you're just going to form your mouth into the shape of an O and you're gonna pop your jaw down. So now I'll throw up some close-up shots of me doing jaw O's, first without bait and then with bait. So the easiest way for me to put this, try to think back on old friends that could pop their jaw really loud. Like, it's after you open your mouth and when you're shutting it, that's when their jaw pops. And that's pretty much what a jaw O is, but it's a lot lighter. And when I say lighter, I mean a lot lighter. Because when you blow out the O, if you actually pop your jaw, it's gonna make the O kind of shaky. But if you're a lot more gentle with it, it's gonna smooth the O out, and it's gonna be a lot easier when actually doing the lasso. So this next clip is just me approaching an O, and instead of actually doing the jaw O through the O, I'm gonna do it on the side just to give you a little perspective on how fast that O is actually traveling. So once you've successfully learned how to do a jaw O, the next thing you're gonna have to worry about is the placement of that O. So when placing the O, you wanna drop it in the direct center of the O. If it's not in the center and it's a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, up or down, it's gonna go in that same direction and it's not gonna last, so it's just gonna roll off the O. So depending on where that O is, you're gonna have to position your body to whatever angle the O would be at. So if it's a little bit tilted back, you're gonna wanna bend down a little bit and tilt your neck back and then blow it straight through. And I know for a fact, if any of you watch my videos, you've seen me do that before. When I bend down all awkward and I'm like, oh! and that's only because that O is probably at an angle, so I need to position my body in the correct spot. So after you've blown that O through, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna focus on the O that was blown through, and then the O behind it, you're just gonna slowly guide it into the smaller O. And yes, that technically is the force lasso, but they all have the same outcome, and you have to really be a G in order to get consistent with just hitting lassos without actually adding that little bit of extra help. And my favorite thing about lassos, and this is probably why it's one of my favorite tricks, is because you can hit a lasso on any type of O pretty much. As long as the O is there, and it, it has a little bit of forward momentum, you can lasso it. And just to prove that to you guys, I actually did do a clip of me blowing out a really slow O, and then I just barely bent it, and it was a super shaky O, but I still managed to lasso it. So now I'll show you what you can do when you've mastered the lasso and you want to take it to the next level. If you're thinking about learning a lasso, I'd highly recommend it, especially because for number one, it's my favorite trick, and number two, it just opens up so many different tricks that you can do in so many different combinations. So yeah, get those lassos down. But if you like this video, please give it a comment and subscribe if you'd like. 
and my name is Isaac Perez and we'll see you next time with more tutorials. Bye.